This research study that was done by the Kansas State Department of Animal Sciences and Industry was looking at ground beef alternatives that are plant-based. We've seen over the several, last several years several plant-based alternatives to ground beef rise in popularity. Many of these products claim to emulate the eating characteristics and texture characteristics of traditional ground beef. The objective of our study was to actually test those and see if, in fact, how similar these products actually were in comparison to ground beef. So in order to do this study, we brought in 120 consumers from across the, the state of Kansas, and they had no training and evaluated the hamburger patties as if they were hamburger patties. We evaluated a whole host of eating quality traits, including tenderness, juiciness, flavor, and overall liking of the product, as well as evaluated the consumer's willingness to purchase the different products. For the products that we evaluated, we had three different ground beef alternatives, including a retail ground beef alternative, commonly found at grocery stores, a food service ground beef alternative, commonly found at restaurants and, and food service, and then we had a traditional ground beef alternative, what's a traditional soy type patty. In comparison, we compared that to three different types of ground beef with different fat contents, the ones commonly found at the grocery store, 90-10, 70-30, and 80-20. These consumers ate all six of these samples without having any of their information other than they were ground beef. Uh, when the consumers consumed the products, our results were pretty striking. All three of the ground beef treatments, no matter how much fat they had in there, outperformed for tenderness, juiciness, flavor, and overall liking all three of the ground beef alternatives. Additionally, when we looked at their willingness to purchase it, the ground beef products actually rated a much higher in terms of consumer's willingness to purchase the actual ground beef in comparison to the ground beef alternatives. In addition, we measured a whole host of other factors that we commonly think of when we measure ground beef, talking about fat content, texture, and everything that we could actually measure from a cooking standpoint. Those results were just as striking. The ground beef alternatives performed very differently than the traditional ground beef, no matter what trait we actually evaluated on the products. So when we looked at all the data in conclusion, what we actually found was that the three ground beefs were in no way, shape, or form similar to the ground beef alternatives. The ground beef alternatives had a tendency to be drier, had a much stronger flavor that was not preferred by our consumers, and were liked much less by the consumers. So our takeaway message was that these ground beef alternatives, no matter their source, uh, actually perform very different than ground beef and are not similar to ground beef and therefore should be considered very different products and not replacements for traditional ground beef.